When I started at MasterCard, I was a brand new, never been an application programmer before. And I asked the question of when did you decide to partition your table? And I was told, well, when it hits two gig, we partition it. And my mouth hit the floor. We are expanding the way that people think about money. We have a lot of employees and we're becoming more global. We have people in India and Dublin and Singapore and New York and St. Louis and we're all having to interact together. So not only are we dealing with digital payments, we're dealing with digital stuff altogether. We have a lot of data that we are working to mine and we are enjoying the fact that a lot of it is still in DB2 and working to make sure it stays there. That all of a sudden I was asked to support a decision support system that was taking in more data than we had ever seen before. So what do we do? So we looked at BMC, Reorg Plus, and we looked at CDB. And we needed the speed. Absolutely had to get this done over a weekend when they could shift the data, the users away from it. But I had to get it done in 24 hours. So we brought in CDB and we trialed it in our environment with 30 million rows and it did beautifully. And we were like, okay, we're ready. So I had my 24 hour window, got my job set up. First time it failed. Second time it failed. The third time it ran in five hours. So we ended up with CDB because of that. But that's the thing, is it's a learning curve for any of this. Zero downtime doesn't exist. If you find that right 15 seconds, you can look like zero downtime for all of your stuff.